Keely and I have been friends for almost 10 years. We're with each other all the time, whether we're working or just being crazy. We love being together. It's got to the point where we're not just friends, we're like fake. We laugh, we love, we cry, we laugh some more. As we go through the ups and downs, no matter where life's roller coaster takes us, we know we'll get through it together. And along the way, we've met some amazing people. Shauna! Keely met Shauna through an ex. Yeah, and at first she hated me. Well, she thought you were loud and obnoxious. I am! <laughs> anyway, Shauna is a good time girl who loves fashion and is always there whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a wingman at the club. Which is where Joey comes in. Shauna introduced us to Mr. J. Ryan a few years back. He's got his hands into every aspect of the L.A. scene. Promoter, publicist, and self-proclaimed socialite, Joey is all about being seen and making that money. Gucci! The baby of the group is Asia. This little dancer from the valley is young, full of life, and brings a positive light to... Everything. I know, right? God, yes. But she's our little sunshine, and we love it. Each week, the five of us meet for dinner to talk life, love, and everything in between. We don't always agree. Nope, no we do not. <laughs> but we always tell the truth. This is Dinner with Friends. Cheers. Cheers. So on our way here, I'm trying to explain to Sabrina the story about the woman who cut her husband's you-know-what off and put it down the garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. And she's that. the only person on the planet that has not heard about this. And I'm dying. I'm like, I can't believe it. How do you not know this? I, no I didn't know either. I'm not she put why. it in the garbage disposal. <laughs> you guys, she drugged him. She like they don't know what she did, but she put something in his food to make him like sleep really, really hard. And then I guess like pulled down his pants with scissors. But you didn't feel that. You couldn't drug me hard enough. When I heard about this, it just took me all the way back to like Lorena Bobbitt, mm -hmm. you know, the woman who threw it upon the forest. Threw it upon the forest. Lorena cut your cock off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. like I've done some crazy things in relationships, I have, but I don't think I've ever gotten to the point where I would ever take away his manhood. <laughs> that is the ultimate ex situation in general that yeah. is just, ow. She's crazy. But yeah. there have been more. She's crazy. She's not the only one, but this is a long line of crazy bitches. A long, long line of them. Speaking of them. <laughs> Amy Fisher is on Celebrity Rehab now. What is the world coming to to where you can get out of jail and you just become a celebrity? <laughs> like, she got out of jail and got a job. Like, <laughs> I'm on TV now, bitches. It's so funny because I was watching the show and they were having like their group session in the morning. And he was like, well, I'm just saying, I've done everything. Sort of shoot someone in the head. <laughs> Let's talk about this seriously because I know it's funny to joke about but in all seriousness there's actually a problem when somebody goes to the level of cutting it off and putting it in the garbage disposal shooting poor Mary Jo in the face I mean yeah it's a, there's something a little bit wrong but I think it all stems from what happens to people when they go through a breakup and I think that that's like a really 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 good topic for tonight because I've gone through it I know y'all have all gone through it <laughs> have we I remember you were dating you were talking to some guy and I remember you were telling me the story about some girl that just popped up oh yes like, tell the story tell Asia tell the story it's amazing okay so I am oh, this is just hanging so awesome. out with this guy right it's late at night we're watching a movie he fell asleep you know I'm chilling hanging out and out of nowhere I hear Boop, 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 boop. And I'm like, Gucci? <laughs> Looking around, <laughs> right? I'm like, wait a minute. Ah! Mind you, the window is about 15 feet in the air. So I'm thinking to myself, who is this person banging on the window? Oh my and how did she scale the walls? Climbing up here. trees. And stuff. I didn't even mention it's raining outside, okay? <laughs> He's like, go home. Go home. And I'm like, is he really telling this girl to go home? Like, she obviously is gonna climb through this window or something. Nope, still just banging on the door. Open the door! Open the door! Oh, I'm like, this girl. poor girl is outside in the rain, crying his name out, like, please open the door. Open. He turns up the music. He's like, completely palming he, her. He turns up the Destiny's Child, say my Dang, name. Yeah. <laughs> As he's sleeping. Turns up the music. Finally, oh, no. after an hour and a half, 
she like leaves. So I'm kind of like, all right, well, I'm just going to get my stuff and get on out. You deal with that crazy girl. And it was just kind of like, people like this really exist? <laughs> Okay, so in this conversation, like this is the one time where I'm not like pointing the finger at everybody. And that's because... You're the crazy bitch. I am the crazy bitch. I am. I gotta admit it to the world, you guys. When I love you, I will stalk your ass. I don't care. I will. My first boyfriend. I called him every single day after he dumped me. I died and I called him every single day for a year straight. Every day. He never answered. Never answered, not once. Then I moved on to the next boyfriend. Did the same thing though. And this is the thing about me, and I think this happens with a lot of girls. They play it like they don't care at all. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as they dump you, because you played it like you don't care so much, then you realize you was in love, and now you're pulling out all the stops. This is what is hard, because one part of it is girls, when they find out their ex gets in another relationship, they come out of the woodwork. Yeah. They might have not even talked to him for nine months, you know? And then all of a sudden, it's like they hear through the grapevine that they've got a new girlfriend and they're blowing them up. Yep. So I think that there is that, that thin line, you know, where mm -hmm. the, if a, a guy has a chance to choose, do I want to be with this girl, that my new girlfriend, or do I want to keep the options open with my ex? And I think that's what happens more often than not to where that ex won't go away because the guy kind of really doesn't want her to go away. At some point you get to the question of why are they still talking to you after three months? Why haven't you said that, hey, listen, my girlfriend is not cool with this. Sorry, but we're done. Get over it. Stop calling me. It also goes back to the Cleopatra syndrome, where you still want him to love you. And that's when you were talking earlier about as soon as he gets a new girlfriend, how you go in like full on attack mode. It's because the Cleopatra thing happens in every girl. If you don't even want to be with him, you don't love him. You may not even care. But as soon as he cares about somebody else, you're like, oh, hell no. Yeah. No, yeah. no. I'm the only. We have talked about what it's like to be the crazy girlfriend. We have talked about what it's like to be in a relationship with somebody who has a crazy girlfriend. But what we have not talked about is what it's like to be the dude who has the crazy ex-girlfriend. Yes. We have a fan question this week that is going to address that very matter. Dear friends, I was with my girlfriend for two years. Things didn't work out, but the breakup wasn't bad or anything. We just grew apart. It's been seven months since our breakup, and I recently started getting serious with someone else. My new relationship is going great, but my ex keeps showing up at bars and places where she knows I hang out. She won't stop calling or texting, and my new girlfriend is starting to get really upset. How do I get out of this situation? Signed, L. Smash I, <laughs> Stop going to the same bars that you usually go to. No, why? Does she know why? You're going? It, has he had that conversation saying, I have a new girlfriend. You come and you see me with my new girlfriend. Why won't you go away? Yeah. I got and it. And then what? Have the new chick smack the shit out of you. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what's eventually going to end up happening. Why do always have to resolve violence. violence, Shauna? It's either violence or steez. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's one or the other. Uh, I'm fresher than you, or I can beat you up. Uh, I don't believe in violence. How about once, both? Once she gets the shit smacked out of her, she might stop coming around. Because she's you. like, oh, that, that bitch can fight. Your exes can definitely ruin your current relationship. If your boyfriend's not sick of the, the girlfriend knowing them all the time, then you need to be with him. Yeah, it's they, like, they want the next kind point. of guy that you're like, ew, like you like yeah. this shit, don't you? Yeah, there's only only so much you can take of that crazy ex-girlfriends. At some point, it just gets annoying. And you it. might have a great girl now that you're gonna lose her if you don't really, really cut all ties from your ex. Anyways, I think we can all agree nobody should be that crazy girlfriend. Unless you need to be. <laughs> Dinner with friends! <laughs> with the crazy girls! Alright! Awesome! Yeah!